This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com and my Today's Racing Digest video series continues Saturday, June 22nd, 2019. Last week we got home king for a day in the Pegasus Stakes. He upset uh, the overwhelming favorite maximum security in that race. We had a nice winner there. Let's see if we can keep the momentum going this week at Monmouth Park. I have four stakes races from Monmouth and then I'm going to look at the Ohio Derby from Thistledown. Let's jump right into the Monmouth Stakes races. Monmouth Race 7, the Grade 3 Eaton Town, a mile and a 16th on the turf course. Some contenders in here. Number 6 in flexibility for trainer Chad Brown. Just not sure if she's as good this year. And she's from the Chad Brown barn. She's going to take too much money. A Dinah Tail should be forwardly placed in this spot, along with number 3, Conquest Hard Candy. Number 2, made to remember as a late runner uh, for trainer Graham Motion. You might want to include her in your exotics. I don't know that there's enough pace help to help her win this race, but she could hit the board. And then uh, my top choice is going to be number 1, Valedictorian. She is the morning line favorite, but I think Chad Brown's inflexibility is going to take a lot of money, and maybe she can drift up to 2-1 to one if we're lucky here. Uh, she looks like the inside speed. She's 3-4 for four at Monmouth Park. She's fairly consistent. She didn't run as well last time against better company, uh, but this is a good spot for her. From the rail, she should be able to go right to the front. She'll try to control the pace, and she could be gone in this spot. Let's jump over to Monmouth Race 10, the Grade 3 Islin, a mile and a 16th on the main track. Uh, number three, Run Into Love You is going to take a lot of money. This one's a Charlestown wind machine. She loves that bull ring oval, but can she run the same race away from Charlestown? We're going to find out. She should be forwardly placed. Uh, Diamond King, blinkers on. Uh, he's going to show some speed in here. Uh, Nile 16th is in his best distance, uh, but he'll be forwardly placed. He'll probably take too much money. Uh, Bow Harbor uh, for trainer Todd Pletcher. The inside post did break well last time. Ran okay, finishing third. With a better break, could save ground stalking the pace. So that could be the key to a good um, trip and a good uh, um, a good performance for that one. Uh, but I'm going to go with the seven, uh, Manangahela. Uh, this one, four for five uh, at this mile and a 16th distance. Hasn't won in a while, uh, but certainly does uh, some of his best work at a mile and a 16th. And I think this race sets up for him. There's some speed in here. He's going to be finishing. He's consistent. He, he earns competitive uh, today's Racing Digest numbers. Uh, so look for that one, uh, number seven, uh, Manangahela, in, in late stretch. Uh, let's jump over to Monmouth Race 11, the Grade 1 United Nations. Uh, 11 furlongs on the turf course. Uh, this one, uh, focus group for Trad Brown, uh, going to take money. Looks like a solid threat from off the pace. Number one, bigger picture. Uh, a veteran in good form, should save all the ground, probably from mid-pack. Zulu Alpha, number six, can stalk the pace. Uh, but I'm looking for a forwardly placed runner in here. I'm going to go with the two Channel Cat. There doesn't seem to be a lot of pace in the paper race. This one has a tactical edge. Can go to the lead. Doesn't have to go to the lead. Can be close up. I think that's the key. That he has that versatility. He can be close. This is a good distance for this one. His third start after a layoff. Should be sitting on his top effort this year. And everything looks like it, it's setting up for number two Channel Cat to run a good race. Monmouth Race 12. The Lady Secret Stakes. Mile on a 16th on the main track. Uh, this one you can go a number of ways. Albero Bella for trainer Todd Pletcher, number six. Number four, Sun Studio, also trained by Todd Pletcher. Number two, Crimson Forest, first after the claim. I can see that one hitting the board. I'm going to go with the surface switcher in here. Number six, Coffee Crush. She's going turf to dirt. Uh, she's been showing a lot of speed in turf races, and I think she's just been going too fast on the turf. Uh, the way that she runs seems like she should do well on the main track. If she runs that kind of race where she shows good speed at the beginning on the main track, I think that's going to bode well for her chances uh, on the surface switch. So I think Coffee Crush is worth a shot on the surface switch, possibly uh, trying to go wire to wire. Finally, Thistledown Race 9, the Grade 3 Ohio Derby. Looks like a two-horse race on paper in here. A long range toddy uh, and Owendale. Now Owendale comes out of the Preakness. Uh, he won the Lexington Stakes prior to the Preakness and then he rallied to finish third in the Preakness. There's a lot of speed in this race and look for Owendale to be rallying late. He's the favorite. He deserves to be the favorite. I think he's a solid threat to at least finish in the top three. I am going to go with number three long range toddy as the top choice. Uh, he doesn't like a wet track. Churchill Downs in the Kentucky Derby outer post. He chased the pace. Uh, maximum security was coming over on him, but he was already done at that point. Before that, the Arkansas Derby, again, a wet track, didn't run well from the outside post. Uh, with that tactical speed and his fast track record, he's going to get the jump on Owendale. There are three horses that look uh, possibly overmatched that are going to be up on the pace. Long Rage Toddy will, he'll attack first, take the lead, and then Owendale will probably try to run him down. 
And then if you're playing exotics, number one, Math Wizard at 8-1 to one looks interesting. He's taking blinkers off. He's a closer. He rallied to finish fourth in the Will Memorial. He fits with this kind. He's going to save all the ground from the inside post. And I can definitely see number one, Math Wizard hitting the board. But long range toddy number three is my top choice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make some comments in the comment section. Who do you like in the Ohio Derby or some of those stakes races at Monmouth Park on Saturday, July 22nd? You can find the Today's Racing Digest, uh, all the information for Monmouth Park for July 22nd and Thistledown. Go over to todaysracingdigest.com. You can get those digests there. That will wrap up this week's video. I'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.